Hi, Dennis Evers, Godfather Prepper. Today I'm going to show you how to take some very inexpensive, readily available items and make yourself a phenomenal uh, spotlight, floodlight, security light that runs off a 12 volt battery and will run a long, long, long time off that battery. Now the first thing you need is a fixture. I found this at Home Depot for five bucks it was on sale. They're not really that expensive to start out with but I needed the motion sensor for one of my lights and it was actually uh, about twenty dollars to buy just the sensor as opposed to five bucks for the whole light. So I've got this fixture sitting around with nothing to do and I thought man that thing is a cast aluminum that would make a great security light for us here at the ranch. You know what I've got here is an MR16 bulb from BrightEcolight.com this is 3 watts, 12 volts DC, runs off a battery. And the whole idea of this is I have several places where I couldn't run electricity because it's just cost prohibitive. And you can run it off of a little 12 volt battery and it'll run a long, long time. You can throw a little panel on that. We've got a lot of options. I'll show you a little bit later in another video. Right now we're going to focus on just building this floodlight. So the first thing you want to do is get your components together. Now as far as this fixture goes, uh, again I got mine for five bucks and I use this infrared component. But you can find these at, at uh, Habitat for Humanity, thrift stores, yard sales, they're all over the place. But you do want to get one that has a visor, particularly because we're using these indoor bulbs outdoors. And they will work, you won't have a problem with them, but you have to protect them. Anyway, so the first thing we do is this. We take and we screw in our adapters good and tight now with our adapters already screwed in we want to focus on the wiring this had a motion sensor on it so what we need to do is come in and modify it so it'll run off 12 volts DC Now one of the really cool things about these bulbs is you can't get them in wrong. You put them in just like a regular bulb. You screw it in whether it's flip-flops or not. It has a circuit in there that allows it to run either way. So you don't have to worry about getting a positive and negative. Okay, there we go. So we have our, uh, there's our lights. Now the next thing you want to do is install your housings. And again, these are not... Uh, designed to be outdoors but if they're protected they'll work fine. I'm going to put a little dab of silicone on this at a later point and just push it in there so the wind or whatever will not work it out. But for now let's see what we have. There you go. An incredibly bright super efficient aluminum cast housing dirt cheap floodlight and you can screw it you don't need a box you can screw this directly to a tree or a post or a fence because it's 12 volts DC it's low voltage but as you can see these things really put out the light even though it's 3 watts they're LEDs and they just for some reason they have a much better light than incandescent so there it is For our particular project, I'm going to use a photoelectric cell, which is a, uh, a light control that turns it off at, uh, in the morning and on at night. <clears throat> and uh, these are available from China. They're about 10 bucks. And uh, the only reason I get this stuff is because it's affordable and very few companies in the USA make this stuff. So it's all made in China anyway. So it's kind of a, just that's the way it is. But anyways, this will run off of our generator battery, which is always on a trickle charge. And in the event of a power outage, we will still have lighting at night. So it works out very well, and it's very simple to install. Three wires and uh, run it to the battery on the generator, and uh, you're in business. Okay, it's all hooked up. My uh, solar cell's on here, and let's see... It'll come on. Anyways, uh, there you go. So.
so that'll come on when the sun goes down and go off when the uh, sun comes up so that's exactly what I want okay here it is installed on the uh, pump house and we'll have to wait till tonight to see what it There's does. There's a battery in the pump house that it's hooked up to. It's a good battery and uh, it's on a charger in the winter time. In the summertime it doesn't need it but in really really brutally cold weather if we lost power it would be awful hard to keep this thing from uh, or uh, it's hard to get it started with the little small batteries that come with it. Uh, okay this is what it looks like on a normal evening and this is what it looks like when these lights come on what a difference huh amazing look at that now obviously the snow kind of makes things look brighter but it's still just an unbelievable difference as far as walking and living in security and the amazing thing is this is all done with uh, six watts of electricity that's why LEDs are just beyond belief